Hello everyone. What's going on Brett? Beautiful day out here on the Bay of Green Bay, up here in Door County, uh, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. And we are fishing whitefish and that's just a little guy. Um, but uh, the average size of these whitefish run about 17, 18 inches. <clears throat> um, you'll catch them up to 24, 25 inches. Just a little one, these little whitefish we usually let go. We get limits to the big ones. So let them little ones grow up um, until next year. One of the big questions I get a lot is how do you guys catch all those whitefish? Um, one of the, the main factors in it is having the right equipment. And uh, I'm going to go through that. I'm going to take a few minutes here today and talk about our equipment and some of the things we do to catch the whitefish out here in uh, Green Bay up in Door County. Um, one of the things, and the most critical thing, I think, is having the right rod. Um, for the application we're using, we're using a quarter ounce uh, weight, and the perfect rod, I've tried hundreds and hundreds of different jig rods, and by far the best that I've found is the 28-inch medium action bro stick uh, made by Frable. Very, very sensitive, uh, nice medium action rod. You can really feel those soft bites from the whitefish. Um, the whitefish don't really bite like a perch or a walleye. They more or less suck on it, and these rods enable you to feel that when that just that lightest sucking motion from the whitefish. Ultimate whitefish rod is the 28 inch medium bro stick. Um, one of my favorites. You can buy them in the combos too. They got great reels uh, that Frable has out with the rods. Um, you can buy just a rod or a combo, um, but that is one of my favorites. Another one that they just came out, and I'm going to talk about it in a little bit here, is a longer rod. It's a 38 inch medium action, another wonderful whitefish rod, and I'm going to show you that application here in a few minutes. But one of the keys to the whitefish, again, is the, the, bait, the baits that we use. Um, I developed this technique about three years ago by watching these whitefish on camera. We used to use spoons, um, but I would always tie a barrel swivel. And I noticed that those whitefish were always coming up and pecking on a barrel swivel. So one day, thinking with my great mind, I thought, well, why not put a little hook up there with some wax worms and see how that works? Well, that was a ticket to the whitefish. We'll catch 90% of our fish on this little slider hook. Just free slides on the line up above the barrel swivel. We want to have a small barrel swivel. As you can see, we got about 9 to 10 inch lead from our pimple to our barrel swivel. These whitefish, any spoons will work. One of my favorites is the Swedish Pimple. Um, number threes and number fours work best. My favorite color is the, the gold hammered color. You can see it's a bright, shiny gold. Uh, those fish can see that from a long ways away. Um, you can see how we use the wax worms too. We hook wax worms on every hook on this pimple. And I like to put two or three wax worms up on the slider hook. Make it uh, where they can see it. and um, you know, one will work, but it seems like two or three work better, so I'd like to run a lot of wax worms up on the slider. The technique we use for these white fish is it's just kind of a bouncing, slow bouncing pattern. You work it up and down, you pound the bottom with the, with the spoon, um, it'll create a little dust cloud down there. Those white fish think that the gobies are swimming in the zebra mussels or that the blood worms are coming out of the dirt, so that'll attract them in. They come in and they take a look at your pimple. They see that nice little meal sliding and bouncing up above there, and like I said, 90% of the time, that is what they're going to hit. Um, another part of our arsenal is the Vexlar units that we use, and why don't you come over here, Lonnie, and we'll film the Vexlar unit and show them what we're using here. Um, I've been running the FL20s and the FL22s. Um, this is kind of my eyes underwater, and it shows me, you can see this at the bottom here, when I'm working that spoon, you'll see that spoon working on there. Um, and what I like to do is work those spoons real hard when there's not fish there. So what I'm looking for is there's not fish on the screen. I'll work my spoons very hard and aggressively, pull the fish in, and then I'll slow down to a slower, bouncing, softer pattern and make it easier for those fish to grab that bait. Um, very, very effective tool. Um, I'd probably catch half the fish I do if if I didn't have this FL20 here in front of me. So it's a great piece of equipment. Another thing is the heaters in our shacks. Um, the Big Buddy heaters have always worked great for me. We do have a lot of wall mount heaters in our shacks. Um, and we'll kind of pan the shack here. This is one of our new shacks. You can see that uh, we put floors in our new shacks now. Um, 
it seems to be a lot warmer and everybody's liking the floors so we're gonna be slowly switching over all our shacks to the floors you see these are big big roomy shacks you can fit up to eight guys in here we normally like to fish about five four to five out of a shack just because these white fish they get pretty aggressive and they pull and you'll get uh, a lot of line tangles if you run more than four or five rods so we like to keep it to about four people five people in a shack um, and we have 10 shacks in our arsenal now, and another thing we're doing this year is we're doing a lot of shack rentals. So the guys that don't want to go out on the guide trips, you know, we offer the full-day guide trips and half-day guide trips and the shack rentals. The guys that don't want to go on our guide trips, you have the option of doing a shack rental, and that's pretty inexpensive for a group of four. You can come up and split it four ways. Uh, we charge 150 for four guys, so you can split that four ways, and it's a pretty cheap fishing trip. Um, otherwise, our... our Guide trips, we do a half day for 100 per person and a full day for 160. And we also do group rates, and you can get discounts on the group rates. Well, let's go back into uh, some of our arsenal here. Um, I'm going to show you the new Frable jig stick that's out. Like I said, it's a 38 inch medium. Awesome, awesome rod. It's got the same sensitive tip that that 28 inch medium bro stick does. Um, but what I like about this rod, if I'm out on the ice fishing out of a shack, it's got the length where you can stand and comfortably jig stand and it's got that real soft fast tip um, really really feel those bites good on those white fish so this uh, Frable hit a home run when they came out with this rod we'll be using a lot of these this year out on the ice when we're fishing outdoors on the nicer days um, another piece of equipment that we use here is the big long frable scoops which are nice in the shacks um, they got the extended handles you don't have to bend over you just scoop down in your holes dip it out clean out your holes um, great great tool that frable came out with now what we're going to do is i'm going to walk outside and i'm going to show you some of the equipment that we use outside um, we'll show you our shacks uh, we'll show you a new um, portable that frable came out with that where again they hit a home run it's a great shack um, which we use a lot of these shacks when we do our full day trips when we're chasing walleyes. Um, they're real quick and easy to use and allows us to run and gun a lot. We, for the walleyes, we don't fish them where we fish the whitefish, so we call it running and gunning. So we run with the portable frables, fish the walleyes, and then we can shoot back to our permanent shacks and fish the whitefish. So let's walk outside and we'll take a look at our gear out here. single shack here, great shack, and what they did here, they put a slide in here where you can slide the seat back and forth, which enables you to either sit inside the shack, or you can keep your feet off the ice, or you can slide it out, for those that like to be nice and close to the hole, slide it out and you're sitting right on the edge, quick and easy to use, you just flip it over, and you start fishing. these in our arsenal so a lot of times if we're running our walleye trips this is what you'll see us running the single man frables um, we're gonna pan around here and show you some of our permanent shacks we go around you'll see all the jiffy stickers on them um, these are the shacks that we rent out a lot and we also use them on our full day guide trips these are the shacks that we'll come and sit in when we're fishing white fish after we're done fishing the walleyes around and they, like I said they all have heaters in they're all insulated so you can stay nice and warm and comfortable now we'll walk over here by our Polaris Rangers and we'll show you a few things we got over here you can see Lonnie has got his Ranger all tricked out he's got a lot of cool stuff on it that he designed right on top of the rack and it uh, just allows us more room in the box. Um, 
Jiffy, what, what I like to run is the Jiffy 3500 STXs. Great, great drill. Um, last year I ran five of them. We drilled thousands and thousands of ice holes. Never had one single problem with the Jiffy. Great, great drill. Uh, recommend it to anybody. Um, they also have their new propane drill out, which is, I've heard a lot, a lot of good comments about it. I do have one. I have not used it yet, but I'm going to try that little propane drill out this year. This is my favorite right here. It's the 3500. Another key tool to our arsenal that allows us to facilitate large groups is we've got the Polaris Rangers, we've got the crew cabs, so you can haul six guys in each Ranger. Uh, very effective tool on the ice. As you can see, we can load rods in the back here, pretty heavy. Um, Lonnie customized some rod holders on his rig here, where he can hold about 40, 50 rods in his Ranger. Got the whole box in the back to hold all the rest of our gear. Um, Killer piece of equipment that Frables, that uh, Rangers got out, Polaris Ranger. As you can see, I got we got two Rangers. This one's got the full cab on with the heater, um, real comfortable. You can blow the heat in there and keep it at 60, 70 degrees. Around out of the ice. You can see, we got the Warren winches on there in case you get stuck. You can drill a hole, uh, put a block down, and pull yourself out. So you don't have to be worried about stranded, being stranded on the ice. One thing that I have in my Ranger is I got a Lowrance HDS-10 and what this Lowrance does, it uh, enables us to key in on structure out here when we're chasing walleyes. Um, the walleyes we like to, to look for shoals and different humps and this is a key tool to how we're able to do that. I can find any structure in the Bay of Green Bay out here um, and this Lowrance helps me do it. A lot, so it's a great, great piece of equipment. And Lawrence, uh, it's got a good unit there with the HDS tens. Um, walk in the back here. As you can see, um, the tires on lines when we have to pull shacks, we put them chains on the tires. That gets us a lot more traction out here on the ice. So that's basically how we haul our shacks around, chain our tires pretty much pull anything you want well for today that's going to be about it if you have any other questions you can visit uh, I've got two websites one is alexandersportfishing.com and the other one our new website is strictly for ice fishing it's icefishgreenbay.com um, if you had a chance you know get your kid out fishing it's a great sport um, I love it I do it full time now I'm guiding 365 days a year just about out here every day so if you got any questions you can give me a call my phone number is 920-851-4214 uh, or you can visit our website. Thanks and have a great day.